Now that I'm in New Zealand, it's everything that I expected, but so much more. I was really excited to come here and just work in my dream location. For serendipitous reasons, New Zealand leads the world in some of the really fundamental photonic developments, technologies. The Dog Ball Centre itself is internationally recognised. There's, there's no doubt that our, our research is it's not just world class, it's at the top of the world class. We have five universities in the Dodd Wall Center and about 30 top researchers. The big advantage with the Dodd Wall Center is that it is just the right size. It's a village without being too constrained. And everybody loves to, to work together and collaborate. So everything happens a, a bit more quickly and more dynamically. And that's actually something that's quite rare when you look at the thing internationally. So if we think of the 20th century as the age of electronics, the 21st century is going to be the age of photonics. So our complementary teams work with a variety of industries to sort of help them out and that includes the meat industry where we look at the quality of meat and try and help them grade meat better. We work with companies that make sensors, gas quality sensors, air quality sensors. You can have a look at almost any type of sample, whether it's cheese, fabric, pharmaceuticals, anything really. We also work with companies that do bone surgery. There we've developed technology that can dice alumina chips better than anyone else in the world. We uh, design and develop new kinds of laser sources and new kinds of laser technologies that allow us to create new kinds of interesting, exciting laser light. Um, and the idea is that these new sources that we develop can then be used in a variety of applications such as micro-machining or telecommunications or spectroscopy or many different things like that. So ultra-cold atom physics is, is a wonderful playground for quantum physics. It's a vast uncharted territory where um, you can do almost anything. One of the exciting things that's happening is we call quantum Lego. So we take individual atoms and optical traps and then bring them together to build up molecules atom by atom in the most controlled way that anybody has done. So a number of us are looking at uh, ways which we can convert single microwave photons which are used in superconducting qubit based quantum computing into optical photons which can be used in existing telecommunications networks. So the students in my group really love what they do. I mean, they win awards doing it, but actually they're there for the fun and the enjoyment and the puzzles that we get to solve and the impact that we get to make. And the Dodd Wall Center helps all of those guys do that. There's generous support for international students within New Zealand and where all international students are counted as domestic. So are eligible for all of our scholarships and only pay domestic fee. On top of an excellent research environment is the, the ability to network inside the, the centre but also we offer them travel fund to attend a conference overseas so that they can meet their potential next employers. The Dodwell Centre has helped me to travel as part of my research. So I got to go to a Gordon Research Conference on photochemistry in the United States last year and next week I'm going to Hong Kong. I think one of the great things about being a student in New Zealand is that the opportunities are so vast and the people that you get to work with are some of the best people you'll ever meet. The reason why I decided to stay in New Zealand was because my supervisors gave me freedom to create and develop my own project and after one year we ended up founding a company which actually now uh, sponsors my project. The outdoor adventures, they are so incredible. The hiking, the mountains that you can explore, the lakes, the rivers, all oh, the beaches, just everything, every place you go is absolutely gorgeous and that's just spectacular to be a part of. So in New Zealand we acknowledge we're a long way from anywhere and we're used to traveling. That means that we've built into the center a, a generous program of support for visitors. So if you want to come to New Zealand, come visit us.